What's up you guys? In this video I want to show you all of the chests in the crypt that have guaranteed stuff for Jade, one of the most popular characters in the game. You can't go wrong with those chests that I'm going to show you, because the items inside are fixed permanently, so they are always there, no matter what. Anyways, let's get on with it. We will start it off at the warrior shrine with her head chest. That's the one. Good stuff! If you want that loot from this chest, then all you need to do is 25 fatalities in the classic towers against Jade, and you will get her severed head for the shrine. Right, moving on to the next one. It's in Shansung's palace. So that's the throne room, now if you go slightly to the left, you will find the chest you're looking for. As you can see, it's a great chest, worth the effort of getting it. I understand that getting the severed heads can be a bit of a grind, however there is a way to farm them fast. Please have a look at my tutorial, best way to farm heads, link is in the description below. If you follow that guide, you will get them in no time. Alrighty, let's get to the next chest, it's located in the Deadwoods. And first, you will have to lift the chest from the water, paying with green souls. It used to cost 3000 of them, but I think it cost less now, after the game was patched up. So the chest will pop up. It might be pricey, however, if you look at the content, it contains a lot of skins. Just one for Jade, but also there is a few nice ones for the ninjas. Just so you know, you might want to check out my tutorials how to quickly farm coins, souls and hearts. They might come in handy if you want to open those chests as soon as. Right, so the next chest is not very far away from here, it's also located in the Deadwoods, so let's quickly go there. As you can see, it's already opened by me. That's the location. Now, let me show you what was inside of it. Cool, you get the brutality from this one. Now, the last chest for Jade with guaranteed loot is in the Goro's Lair. So let's get in there. No worries, I'm going to navigate you how to get it. So basically, by the throne with dead Goro, we turn right and then turn left into this entrance. Keep following it until you reach this bit. So there will be your flaming chest and next to it, right here, hanging lantern, which you have to destroy first to open the chest. So that's the location on the map. Obviously I have already done it, however, this is how it's going to look like for you when you come here. Alright, easy peasy lemon squeezy. The content is decent, you get also cool mask for Scarlet. So anyways, that's about it. There is however one more flaming chest with guaranteed loot for Jade, but it contains just one piece of gear, that spinning razor thingy that she throws, really nothing special, however if you are really desperate to get it, I will show you where it is, so you can see it for yourself, if it's worth your effort, alright. So it's actually right here in the dining hall, 
not far away from the previous location. And once again we have to destroy the lantern to put out the flames from the chest so we can open it. The lantern is pretty much located above the chest, so let's move on there. Okay, there it is. Now let's get back to the chest. That's all you get. The Razor Rank. Deadly Hand of Belim. Whatever the hell that mean. Alright, and that's all of the chests with guaranteed stuff for Jade. Thank you guys for watching, check out my other videos about MK11 Crypt, I've done quite a few guides and tutorials about it. If you're struggling to make a progress, you may find them very helpful. Please subscribe, leave a like, and don't be shy, make a comment, I usually reply to all of them. Alright, have a good one, see you next time, bye for now.